Hillel, talk to me from an education standpoint, three-part question. What is an API? Why are we seeing it used so much today? And to the layperson, why is it so important that we are using it and secure it? Great question. All three parts. I think I can get them all in my head at the same time. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would say API stands for an application programming interface. And what that really means is, so historically, if you go all the way back, an application was a piece of software that you ran, and it took user input through some interface, and it did something and gave user output, right? Uh, and, and then at some point, we realized sometimes it's useful to have things that other things talk to that are not humans, right? And so we've got needs to create services that might not directly interface with a human, but might direct you know, interface with other software. And so when we started to have these things called APIs, sometimes they were used internally between different parts of the same development team or the same business to better uh, isolate one from the other and you know allow them to have some sort of level of autonomy in how they move their software forward. I want to write in, in, in C++ and you want to write in Java, but it's okay because we have an API between us, things like that. But over time, they became the way that a lot of things started talking to each other. And they became a way for front-end parts of my app, for example, to talk to back-end parts of my app. And they became a way for services that I use to consume data or send data to services somebody else created that I can take advantage of. And so now we live in this kind of software mesh, really, where everything is a service and everything exposes an API and then there's something else talking to that API and there's and that thing is talking to other APIs. And it's turtled all the way down to some point, I get it. At some point, there is an app at the front of it and there is a disk at the bottom of, of that stack somewhere. But there's a lot of things talking to a lot of things. And APIs are kind of the, the, the interfaces or the contracts the, the way that those things talk to each other, right? And so when we talk about API security, we talk about API governance, what we're saying is we have created this more complex, less monolithic, more microservice, more distributed world, which is great. And we've used these APIs as the, the interface language or the contract for how A can talk to B. But now we've also have to think, we, so now we also have to think about what kind of data can go there? How trusted is that data? Who can access that thing? What kind of configuration do we need to properly secure it? What happens if somebody's abusing it, et cetera? Again, these are not new problems. It's just that the way they manifest now is in abusing an API rather than, say, sending a, a malicious payload to a search bar or something in, in, in a web app.